Hey, what's happening to you guys? Piracy and welcome back to another video. Today, I kind of want to just make a quick short video. This is a follow-up to the whole Blizzard thing. Um, as you guys know, the whole Blizzard thing kind of took off. Like, no one expected this to make international news in which both US senators from the Democrats and Republicans have condemned Blizzard's action. You have companies like, you know, Epic Game Stores, um, CEO and all that people coming out and obviously saying that what Blizzard did was wrong, that they wouldn't do the same thing. Like, Blizzard has been receiving the biggest backlash that I've seen in recent months. And it's, it's a good thing. That's what we want. We want Blizzard to feel the heat that what they've done was completely wrong. They shouldn't have silenced a fucking pro gamer just to favor the Chinese um, government. It, just to make some profit. It, it seems wrong. We all know it seems wrong. Gamers have always been the first few people to speak out against censorship. Like, it doesn't matter what it is. If it affects us, our games, we will speak out. And not only speak out, but we will also take action. Like, we've seen employees at Blizzard leave the building, I think. That's what I've seen. They've, leave, they've left the building in protest to what Blizzard is doing. They've gone around and kind of covered up anything that remotely speaks on freedom of speech that Blizzard has had placed around the buildings. Like, they've, they've been doing stuff. Um, pro gamers have vowed not to play their games anymore. They've vowed to kind of step away from that stuff. Um, professional casters have said that they, they would no longer work with Blizzard anymore in terms of what's been going on. We are making moves, but what is pissing me off just a little bit is essentially some of these people who are trying to say that gamers are just now speaking up on censorship and political issues when it comes to video games in general. You see, I'm pretty sure you probably have seen them around. I'm not going to put their tweets anywhere because I don't want to promote their account. Because what I've noticed is that negativity just promotes people these days. Like, So I'm not going to do any of that stuff. But I'm pretty sure if you just do a little bit of hard digging, or I'm pretty sure you're going to come up into a video that actually talks about this. But um, there are people out there who are saying that video game, video gamers, whatever, have not been speaking out on issues like this until this recent Blizzard stuff happening. But... We've been doing this for years now. We we did it with, um, let's say for example, Ubisoft and their recent trying of censoring um, Rainbow Siege. We've talked about this as well with um, Diablo Immortal. We're pretty much a vocal um, community. In fact, it's gotten to a point where some of these same people, these blue checkmark people or the journalists or whatever you want to call them, have been kind of running with titles as Calling us things like entitled gamers, you know, bitchy gamers, you know, whiny gamers. We've been getting all these names, all because we speak out. So, to say that we are just speaking out now because of this whole Blizzard thing, and because it's beca because it's gotten such a widespread news coverage, it's a pretty fucking lie, and it's kind of disgusting. So, there's one tweet. I will read it out, but I'm not going to. Um, pretty much, yeah, because it's pretty annoying to say the least that they would try and make us seem like we don't speak out on horrible stuff. We don't speak like there have been theories going around. I don't know if people have remembered remembered this, but when Epic Game Store was first um, being talked about and being seen as a potential threat to the gaming P PC gaming spectrum. People have always made theories about how the Chinese are going to be using that to collect our data, to try and use that to reach a, you know, a stronger market for potential censorship. We've been there, we've been talking about this. But there's, there's, there's this one tweet, if I can just find it. So yeah, here it is. So this comes from a guy, I'm not going to read out his name, but he's a blue check person, so he has some, I guess, influence. But he says that, it's extraordinary watching them all suddenly having discovered China is a bit fucked up and then acting as though it's been their lifelong work to fight against the regime. It's frightening that it took a Twitch streamer getting banned for them to even pretend to give a shit. This sentence right here, this entire tweet right here, just shows you that there are some people who generally just have an agenda to just attack gamers, period. It's like, no, it did not take a Twitch streamer to fucking make us talk and make us give a shit about China's censorship. We've been talking about this for years now. That's why we got the title, that's why we got the title, Entitled 
gamers where do you think that came from that didn't just come out of nowhere we were being labeled shit just for speaking out on bullshit that shouldn't have happened it's 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 amazing you you, you could you could say that the twitch streamer was the catalyst like it was we had so much other bullshit happening with China and their censorship that this was the last straw. This was what broke the camel's back. And this is the clearest evidence that China will be able to influence certain speeches and certain images being shown in games or being shown in anything revolving, you know, freedom of speech in a sense. Do you know what I mean? Like this was just one of the biggest examples, the clearest example that we have. But to say that it is ridiculous it's like come on dude um you know you had kotaku say something as well but you know i don't really care about kotaku to be honest really yeah that, that's it that's that's all i have um it's just very very interesting that there are some people out there that actually believes that gamers are just talking about this now when we've been doing this for fucking years now now i'm not gonna say that i personally have been fighting the good fight <laughs> do you know what i mean this is like yeah, I mean, I've talked about this, maybe in blogs and things of that nature, but I haven't walked out of, of a store or anything like that. I haven't been like an actual activist, but I have been keeping up with that stuff. And I know there's a lot of people, a lot of people who are actively making videos, actively telling their community that keep an eye out on China. China is going to be doing a lot of censoring and it's going to have effect on us on the Western side. This is just indisputable fact we see it happen now and it's very very clear and even when a lot of these companies you have senators you have um, other business people calling out blizzard for their action blizzard has not backed down do you know what i mean blizzard has stood their ground and has even defended china for this and it's funny because whenever a company is called out on, on something they usually back down immediately saying we apologize um, for what we said, we're inclusive, we're all about diversity, you know this, I mean, I'm not making this shit up, just look at any company that's ever fucked up, and they'll always, they'll always come up with a statement saying that we apologize, we're actually all about diversity, we're all about inclusiveness, this is what we are, here's our statement, blah 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 blah, but now, this is big news, like, what Blizzard has, what Blizzard has done, it's such a big news that a lot of people are anticipating to see what Blizzard would would say or will say to their investors. And also, I believe that there's actually, let me just look this up real quick, real quick. Um, I think there's a BlizzCon happening very soon, which is going to be very, very interesting because we know, yes, there's a BlizzCon happening in November 1st. So it is going to be very, very interesting to see how Blizzard is going to be reacting to all the fans who are going to be going there fully hot-blooded and ready to tear them apart because they're not going to be going in there for their favorite games. They're going to be going there to just ask a bunch of questions. Why did you allow this to happen? What's going on? Are you bowing down to China? Um, is this the end of democracy? <laughs> okay, that last one is a little bit of an extreme, but you get the idea. Um, just yeah, that's just my thoughts and opinion on this. Um, don't let these people try to undermine the movement, if it is a movement. Um, which is actually interesting, they've been using May from Overwatch as their image. It's, it's almost, it's just pure perfection right there. But anyways, that's just my thoughts and opinion on it. Let me know what you guys think. I'm Paris, and I'll catch you guys um, next time. Peace!